students. Welcome to our discussion and today we will discuss about static and kinetic friction. Our objective is to number one, differentiate static and kinetic friction and number two, solve problems about friction. So let's start. We define friction as the force that opposes the relative motion of two surfaces. So as we can see here in the diagram, it is caused by an even surfaces wherein the interlocking of minute projections on the surfaces opposes the motion. So, let's try to discuss about free body diagram. I have here a box and remember our lesson before that we draw a line going down and this will represent the force of gravity or better known as weight and this will be equated as mg. So therefore, weight is equals to mass times the gravity. We also have an upward arrow that represents our normal force or Fn. And since there is no vertical movement, we could say that Fn is equal to Fg. Therefore, the normal force is just equal to weight. And we, if, for example, we have here the applied force, therefore, if it is moving horizontally we now have what is so called the frictional force or small letter F and and that's how we represent our frictional force so since it is not moving in either a uh, left or right position therefore frictional force is equals to applied force now there are two types of frictional force. We have the static friction and we have the kinetic friction. So again, if we're going to represent our box, we have here the weight and we also have the normal force. We also have the applied force and we also have the frictional force. We will represent this as the frictional force or F static is equals to normal force multiplied to coefficient of static friction. Force of static friction keeps a stationary object at rest. We represent a uh, coefficient of static friction as mu sub s. And we define this as the ratio between the frictional force to normal force. Another type of force is the kinetic friction. So this is being applied for the frictional force wherein the object is moving at constant velocity. So the weight is equal to mg or fg. And we have again the normal force or the fn. And we have here the applied force. And we also have the frictional force. And we have this equation wherein the Fk or the frictional kinetic friction is equals to normal force multiplied to coefficient of kinetic friction. So the force of kinetic friction is what slows down when an object is moving. So therefore, we can represent this as Uk is equals to coefficient of kinetic friction or mu sub k. And then therefore, we define it as the ratio of frictional force to normal force. So let's try to distinguish further by using this illustration about the static and kinetic friction. Since the object is not moving, but to initiate motion of the box, the man must overcome the force of static friction. And when it is, not, when it is now moving, Therefore, kinetic friction applies, and we will apply the coefficient of kinetic friction. So, when it is moving, kinetic friction works. So, these are the values for static versus kinetic friction on the different materials. We have here the rubber on glass, rubber on concrete, steel on steel, wood on wood, metal on metal. So, we have these different values of coefficient of static friction or coefficient of kinetic friction. Now, there's a one pattern here that we could observe. Which one has greater value? Is it the 
kinetic friction or the static friction. So, upon observing which one is greater, if you answer the coefficient of static friction, then therefore you are correct. Let's start with our problem number one. A rightward force is applied to a 10 kilogram object to move it across a rough surface at constant velocity. The coefficient of friction between the object and the surface is 0.2. Now, let's try to have our given. The given here, we have 10 kilogram as our mass. Then we have to get the weight, and that's 10 kilogram times 9.8 meter per second square. And therefore, the weight is 98 newton. 0.2 is the coefficient of kinetic friction. How about the required? The required here is friction, which is the kinetic friction. And we all know that the unit for that is Newton. So we have to take note that uh, the force, is, force of gravity or the weight is equals to mg. And we also have to take note that the normal force, since it is not moving upward or downward, is just equal to weight. Therefore, Fn is equals to Fg or the normal force equals to weight. Since our formula or equation is kinetic friction is equals to Fn times mu sub k, we could now directly substitute our values. Therefore, the value of kinetic friction is 98 Newton multiplied to 0.2. And therefore, the value of kinetic friction is 19.6 Newton. Let's go now to our problem number two. A block weighing 30 kg is pushed along a surface. It takes 90 newton to get the block moving and 50 newton to keep the block moving at constant velocity. What are the coefficient of the static friction and coefficient of kinetic friction? So we have here the given, which is 30 kg as our mass. Then we have to get the weight, which is 30 kg times 9.8 meter per second square. And therefore, the weight is 294 Newton. 90 Newton, since the, the block is moving, okay, and that represents the static friction. And 50 Newton, keep the block moving at constant velocity, that will represent as kinetic friction. The required here is static, coefficient of static friction and coefficient of kinetic friction. Since Fg is equals to Mg, and therefore normal force equals to weight or the force of gravity, we have to take note on that. And our formula is Fk is equals to Fn times mu sub k, and Fs equals to Fn times mu sub s for the static. And deriving the formula, we have here coefficient of kinetic is equals to Fk divided by Fn. And the other one would be coefficient of static friction. That would be uh, static friction divided by the normal force. Just the same formula. Then therefore, we could now substitute our values. We have 50 Newton divided by 294 Newton for the mu k. And for the mu sub s, 90 Newton divided by 294 Newton. Therefore, the value of our uh, coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.17. That is a unit less value because Newton has been cancelled out. And coefficient of static friction is 0.31 Newton. 